Hello, hello, hello. Yes, that's right. A different look. Plus a different game. I don't know if I'll be sticking with this, but... I thought, you know what? Let's try something a bit different. Um, Never played a single Nancy Drew games games before. So I thought I'd just give this one a try. Um, plus, you know, it's it's one of the spooky, spooky um, stories for the spooky season. Hopefully your audio is all right. It's locked. Oh, no. I, we'll be hearing a lot of that. I like that. I'm definitely an ama amateur sleuth. Thank you. Mm. Yeah, hello. Oh, I'm supposed to pick it up. Sorry. What time is it? Late. Savannah? Is that you? What's wrong? I got a case for you. Can it wait until later? I'm sorry, it can't. There's been a kidnapping. A girl, just a little older than you. <sighs> Shouldn't the police be taking care of this? There's only so much they can do, and she needs to be found before something bad happens. What do you mean? The call came in for me, but I can't go. Stoughton Hall is a dangerous place for people like me. Ghost hunters, you mean? So people think it's haunted? Uh-uh. They know. Jessa needs someone who ain't afraid to run after her. That ain't me. What I'm asking of you is dangerous. After everything you did for me in Japan, I'll do it. Thank you. Drive to the airport now. I'll arrange a ticket. Oh, reference Nancy, to the previous games. Because you're a good detective. I called you because you're a skeptic. Thornton Hall is no place for anyone who believes. Well, then you call the right detective. I'm serious. You think long and hard about that before you get on that plane. If what you find on the island is going to get to you, don't go. Stay home. Don't worry. I'm on the case. Now I'll sleep in. Just like that, we're there. Are you sure about this? I am. Watch yourself around the Thorntons. They earned their bad reputation. Well, thanks for being concerned. I should be okay. We, we shouldn't adjust that. Who's here? Hope for your sake Wade's not skulking around. Or that loony bin reject, Harper. But it's Charlotte you best watch for. Black Rock Island belongs to her now. As ever since the night the fire took her. Take care now. So there's Wade, Harper, and Charlotte that we'll look out for. Hold up. Let me just... I don't like the... Uh... Turn that down. It's locked. Wow, this is, this game's like from two thousand and four. I think it's been updated. It seems to be, you know, it's got full screen, proper full screen. Well, kind of. Obviously, it's cut off in the corners, but that's alright. It's better. This I've got now games like a lot later. It's not a Nancy Drew game, and dang, it was just tiny. It was a tiny screen. I, I can't get it to maximize. Like, it just, my eyesight's so bad. At least this I can see, you know? I'm not expecting the graphics to be fantastic, but... It's got these magnifying glass, but I can't do anything with it. All right. Oh, look at this. Can't check that off yet. Oh, we can actually check it off. That's cool. So this is my first time playing a Nancy Drew game. Hmm. Oh, wow. Ghost hunting expert Savannah Woodham has hired me to help find Jaslyn Thornton, who has gone missing from a family's abandoned property. Sorry, I'm shaking again. Jaslyn and her friend Addison 
were on the island working on a scavenger hunt the night Jocelyn disappeared. Jocelyn? Jocelyn? Savannah seemed worried about the ghosts involved in this case, but I wonder if there's more to it. Uh, Thornton Hall was once home of the Thornton family and the center of the operations for the Thornton family business. As more and more family has moved off island, Thornton Hall has fallen to disrepair. The Thornton family company seems to be a large collection of smaller agricultural businesses. It was initially based on the island but has long since diversified and moved to the mainland. The ghost story of Thornton Hall is well known throughout the region. Jocelyn and Edison were spending the night in hopes of having a terrifying run-in with the family ghost, Charlotte, easily the most beloved member of the Thornton family. Charlotte died on the property on the night of her 21st birthday. So far, Black Rock Island seems to consist of Thornton Hall itself and the Thornton family cemetery. If this island has uh, as much history as I suspect, I bet there'll be plenty of secrets to uncover. That's true. We don't have any suspects yet. All right. Let's do this. What's this? I need a hint. No, no, we don't. This is fine. We get jump scares. <laughs> oh. And she doesn't say anything about that. All right. Let's head inside, eh? Unless it's broken, is she meant to say something? Jessalyn? Excuse me? Sorry, of course you're not. I'm just tired. No, Yo, don't be. Look tired. I'm Nancy. You're here to help? Savannah Woodham called me in. She seems to think there's a supernatural explanation to Jessalyn's disappearance. <sighs> a couple of days back, that would have earned an eye roll. I'm Colton, the fiance. Well, fiance. Thornton Hall. I'd extend you all the courtesies of the Thornton clan, but we seem to be about 20 years too late for that. You might need this. I found it in the house. Thanks. This is pretty good. I wasn't uh, really expecting the animation. I thought it was going to be like stills or um, like slideshow type thing. It's not bad. I mean, what is this? Two and four? There must be some sort of update done to this, right? Is this Jessalyn's? Yeah. It's dead, though. And the charger got mangled by something. We're gonna have to Maybe fix that. you could channel all that inquisitive energy into seeing if you can get that old phone back up and running. Why are we fixing things? Oh, cool dialogue choices. Were you and Jessalyn getting married soon? Yes. Any chance this is just pre-wedding yes. jitters? She might have had second thoughts about the wedding. Trust me, everyone does. But she never let anyone worry about her like this. She loved her family more than anything. Mm. Is it safe to assume you had second thoughts about the wedding? I never said that. True, but you implied it. You said, trust me, everyone does. I know. I remember it like it was just moments ago. You know, I am already playing a one detective game, Killer Paradise, and I should get back to that as well, just thinking about it. So, is this going to be a game where I'm going to pick it up? Well, we'll see. We'll see what happens. I'd better get going. Goodbye. Whoa, sound difference. He's like, yep, I'm just going to stand here and stare out into this creepy, foggy swamp. Does he have anything else to say? Need something? No. I you better get going. Run out of dialogue, ah. I guess. But it's like flies and stuff. Charge phone. So it's our job to fix this dang phone, eh? Hold up. Ooh. What's causing that to swing around? Hmm? This place is definitely in disrepair. Look at it. It's got like trash everywhere. Dang. Okay. Not creepy at all. I reckon that guy's a vampire. No, I'm kidding. 
I have no idea. It, there's normally a logical reasons behind all this. It's all like Scooby-Doo, you know? I, nope. Dang, this is spoopy. What? Oh, oh, it has to light up, then, the, then you can do something about it. Okay. This looks like a painting. I should find somewhere to place it. In my bag. Can we even open it up and have a look at it? Canvas. So we can't even look at what this is. I have no idea. Pixel hunting time, guys. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Electricity menu for making batteries for common household items. Do it yourself. There we go. We can make battery for the phone, right? Whoa. All right. I'm not going to read all this out. Look at this thing. Um, is, is the Baghdad battery a, a thing? A real thing? I seem to recall... I could be wrong. Maybe, maybe it was a misunderstood thing. Or it actually was some sort of battery i don't know i don't remember i have heard about this wait we gotta measure stuff Oh, what the? Uh, oh, dang, it's got a few things. What? So who's this? Is that... Is that the family? I don't know. Alright. Are we gonna... We're gonna have to reference this stuff, don't we? Like vinegars, salt... There's like different versions of it. Alright. Um... Can we even take it? We can't. Alright. I don't have all the parts I need. Yeah, okay. We got some wires. Alright, so we're gonna be hunting for ways of uh sorting out. find something to remove these nails. I can't even what? There's nails there? Dang, my eyes are no good. It is so dark. Okay. Yeah, this is uh what the heck? What do we do with this? Oh, what? What do we... Coins. I'll take that. Thank you very much. Hmm. What, what is it, Nancy? Hmm. Yeah, I'm here. I'm hearing a lot of hmm. 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 All right, that's not helping. Hmm. Anything else? Oh no, 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 no. Num things with numbers is generally a bad sign for me. For me. Uh, for those that have seen me try to play um, the Room Part Three, Part Four. Well, there was uh, there's quite a bit. There's a section with arithmetics. Yeah, I, I just I think I'll be I'll have to look up stuff later on. Oh, yeah, we'll take we'll take that a picker. Oh no, 
Yeah, w okay. Is there like a limited space? I'm like just grabbing everything. Alright, hang on a sec. I think the music might be a bit... There we go. Let's save this. They even let you change the name. This is quite impressive. Thornton Family Colton Co Cotton, sorry, processing. The door is This door is from the barn that housed the equipment for processing the cotton. Many workers lost their fingers in the processing room. Okay. That's uh That didn't sound good. Oh. What's going on? Oh, jeez. Oh. Okay, so there is a... <laughs> you can actually die in this. Okay. Good thing we saved it. Well, th this is... Uh... Alright. So this... This is like a freaking... Uh, scythe? Oh dear. Let's uh let's not play around with this yet cuz good thing we saved, right? What is this? Oh, we already seen that. I'm just trying to get my bearings. Uh okay, let's get out of here. Yeah, there is a there are a lot of hooks Rusty size, size, terrifying. Oh, you see that shadow? <laughs> Ooh, spoopy. Who's this dude? I've already forgotten all the names. Don't, don't mind me. I'm a terrible detective. But I'm sure Nancy, Nancy will know. Right, N Nancy? What's this place? Oh dang, this place is decrepit. Did she just turn her head at us? And then uh, she did. You must be Nancy. Yes, you must be Clara, Jessalyn's Hello. mother. Clara. Yes. I want you to know that I'm here to help you with anything you need. That's real sweet, hon. I know you may not want me here since you didn't actually call me yourself. So hon. long as you help me find Jessalyn, you're welcome under what's left of my roof here. Yeah, well, you're gonna... I'm sure you could get someone here and do the a whole refurbish, refurnish this entire place. Uh, Who did Jocelyn come here with? Who did Jocelyn come here with? Addison. I tried talking to her, but she was a wreck. Here. Addison Hammond. All right, thanks for the number. She'll have calmed down a bit by now. I hope. Hmm. What do you think happened to Jessalyn? You wouldn't know by the look of this dump, but we're worth a great dump. deal of money. Well, that's what I thought this was. But then, no, no. Not yet, at least. I, I can't believe I'm praying for a ransom note to show up. It's like someone's trying to punish us. Well, why do you say that? Thornton Hall was once something truly beautiful. But so much greed and tragedy built up in these walls that when they started to crumble, I wanted to save this place, make it mine. But I couldn't. So whoever took Jessie wanted us to sit here in this broken down old house waiting for her. Hmm. She seems a little suspect. But I don't know. This is something, something's, uh, something doesn't feel right, but. It's still too early. I'm, I'm like suspicious of everyone. Is there any chance Jessalyn's disappearance could be cold feet? My Jessie would never put her family through this nightmare. Never. Were things good between Colton and Jessalyn? They had their rows and their romantic dinners, same as any couple. Colton had some... Well, hon, he had some issues, but they worked through them. Work through them. What you do you mean? That Colton had some issues. What did you mean? To put it delicately, family issues. 
Never you mind. It has nothing to do with what's going on now. Well, are you sure? Uh... Why is everyone here? Shouldn't we be out searching for Jessalyn? I closed down the company. The entire staff is out combing the woods. I said, sit home or join the search. You get paid either way. Not a soul stayed home. Jessalyn grew up in the business. She's got a lot of people looking out for her. I can be thankful for that. The police recommended a presence here. They said we'd have a better chance of noticing if something was off here, knowing the place and all. The police recommended a presence here. But wh where's the police? Wait, what? See you later. Take care. Oh, hold on. Hold Did on. you have more to say? Goodbye. Take care. Take care, thanks. One of these paintings. Can't do hmm. that right now. Yeah, she's there. We'll have to, like... Oh, cool. That's like... She reacts to the fly. That's a cool animation. I would not spend a night in this place. I would not spend five minutes. I'll be like, um, you know what? I'm I'm heading back. But with Nancy Drew, we gotta solve this crime. Or oh. yeah, what? There must be something. Can we use this? No, it should say right, like, oh, I need a, I need a proper, uh, instrument to dig through this, but there must be something. Espionage in a bonnet. Female secret agents of the Civil War. Interesting. Oh dang, that's a whole lot. All right, uh, I'm not gonna go through this, but I'll just try to. Go through it. Seventeen, far out. Dang it. Is this all true? This is pretty cool. What? This is incredible. Oh no, dang. What? Wow. Huh. I did not know. I I think these might be true. Huh. Interesting. Oh, sorry. Alright, is there anything else? So, this is a relatively new book in this place, so I wonder who's reading this. Is it her? Huh? Is it you? Is there some sort of espionage or some sort going, going on? Hmm. What do we just do? Oh, okay. Oh, dang, I didn't know I could do that. There's a bit of sugar. And lemon. I would not dunk the entire lemon in there. Lemon? Oh, lime, my eyes are just horrible. Lime is green, I don't know what I'm saying. You ate the entire lemon? Nancy. Good grief. Well. That's cool that you can drink tea. 
Like, I would just squeeze a few drops, but no, I like, dunk the whole thing. She loves a lemon. All right. Oh. Let's take some of that, eh? Napkin. I already have one. Yeah, you do. Let's not be uh, greedy about it. Wow, that's, uh, that is cool. Huh. Do we have a fruit? Yeah, let's do that. Oranges. Yes. I don't think there's... There might be something else that I missed. Alright, we better save it, because knowing that there's, like, death? That's mad. That is, uh... I wasn't expecting that at all. Okay. Yeah, I had a few selections of games to play. I was like, oh. What should I play that's a bit different? I mean, obviously, there's stuff that I've continued never finished. Um, for this one, because since we're heading into the spoopy season, uh, I thought I'd give this one a shot. It looks like the painting is missing. Ah, uh, but guess what? We oh wait, here we go. What a fit. Franklin Thornton. N nothing to say? Okay, I guess it's just for us to put stuff there. Okay. What? What is this? Cotton. Okay. Oh, is this where we're going to be sleeping? Just like a, a sleeping bag. What, what is this? Hmm. Wait. I hope there's no timing. I don't think so. I don't think there's a top game that has timing in it. What is this? Jackson Thornton. The only, the only gripe... I get it. They're trying to make... um. You know, a moody air, a moody mansion in the middle of nowhere. Um, there's no proper lighting set up, so it's meant to be quite dark. But like for my for my horrible eyesight, it's a it's a bit of a, a hazard. You know, uh, I wonder if there's like a brightness control. I don't think so. Nope. I guess I could do it on my screen, but I don't want to play around with the brightness control. All right, let's 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 keep going because uh, I don't want to be too much of a person that gripes for this. Thornton's of Black Rock Island. Dang, how many pages we got? Okay, just two. All right, excuse me. Roger Dodge, as he was known to his friends, never let his difficulties stand in his way. As a child, he found he was defined by a persistent stutter that would follow him throughout his life. He often stated that his difficulties with speech led him to be a somewhat shy child. He grew to be a bookish young man with a deep love of the language. Despite his great intelligence, he, would, he struggled to find his place in the world. That changed when he met Mariana in the spring of his freshman year. Oh, the light of Karin... Kar Karin Karina, Karin, Karenina, and Dodge. As a boy, he wrote in a letter sent to a longtime friend. That took me forever to read. I felt sorry for myself because I couldn't speak. Now I only feel sorry for those who cannot listen. Mariana knows how to listen. And she, she's taught me how to be heard. By all accounts, Mariana was quite taken with Dodge immediately. According to an oft-told anecdote, Dodge once proclaimed he would love her until the day he could say her name without a single hesitation. On the spot, she declared that he was henceforth to call her Mariana Karinina. The joke solidified into a nickname once the couple noticed the scandalized reactions she received from the stuffier members 
of the Thornton clan. Always a bit mischievous, Mariana was never quite in step with the rest of the family. She was known for a wicked sense of humor and often envied for a privileged position she held. Usually the first person that relatives would turn to with a problem. Mariana led the family through many troubled times, but the real trouble began on a stormy night in the middle of winter. Mariana had been asked to meet with the head of a small agricultural company the Thornton business had been hoping to acquire. The papers had been drawn up, but there was still some uncertainty on the part of the company's owners. Uh, Madrigo Stock and Grain. Mariana was tasked with assuaging, assuaging their worries and getting the papers signed. Roger, as usual, was at her side. One can only guess their last moments together. This we know. The small prop plane crashed in an empty field after running to the unexpectedly strong storm. All four passengers died on impact along with the two-person flight crew. Those who knew the pair knew that at the very least, they must have been relieved to have each other's company in those last moments as the plane fluttered down from the sky. That's sad. Oh, dang. I had a feeling this was going to happen. Drop frames. What the heck? Well, good thing I'm playing a game that doesn't have a lot of uh, a lot of high frame rates. Uh, the only thing you'll be seeing stuttering is my webcam. Dang, it is really unstable. It's that time of night, I guess. No, we can't take it with us. Please don't, please don't make me have to like, you know, figure out, take notes of that. I have a feeling we have to take, but f still, I'll find a missing portrait. Did that. Have we? See if Addison removes anything from the night of Thornton Hall. Oh, I'm not going to read this whole lot out. I might skim through it later on. I'll skip through it now. Scavenger hunt. Plenty of secrets. Plenty. Who's this? I can't quite see. This is... Elizabeth, is it? No. I can't read that. My eyes are no good. Was that a shadow just now? What's that smudge? It almost looks like something was painted over. Smudge? Hmm. Huh. Yeah, what the heck? Suspicious. Hmm. Huh. Hmm. Oh. There's gonna be a trap. That thing's something's gonna happen. You just know it. No. That's not. Is there anything behind? Hang on, hang on. I wonder what's the point of that. Hmm? Guess we can just 
Is it, this can't be it. I'm sure there's like a lot more to this place. I guess it's not really a mansion. No, 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 no. Wait, what? What are we facing? No, this is... Oh, this is back here. Okay, sorry. Let's head out. Told the see if he's got anything else to say. Oh, here we go. What do you think of Clara? What do you think of Clara? What do you think she's, of Clara? She's just a little severe until you get to know her. And then? I wouldn't know. <laughs> You're holding something back. Yeah, man. So what if I am? What? Guy's got a bit Don't of an attitude. The house. Don't blame you. You'd rather be out here with all the flies. How did you and Jessalyn meet? I saw her one day and thought, this is the girl I'm going to marry. And then I threw a rock at her face. What? <laughs> like, metaphorically? No, I was just a kid. Mm. I had a very limited game book. She still has a little scar. You can see it when she smiles. Dang, uh, man, you scott her. Never live that down. I imagine yeah. things improved from there. We became best friends. Then we grew up and became what we are. Or were. Or. What? Dude, it goes beyond. Uh, okay. So you and Jessalyn must have dated for quite some time. Actually, didn't start dating until a year ago. Really? We both dated other people, but nothing worked out. One day, Clara had enough and sat us down and said, Everyone knows you're going to get married. Go to it already. Jess was mortified. I took her out to the coast since that always cheered her up. We talked through the night, and by the time the sun came up, it just stopped sounding so silly. Hmm, okay. I like the voice acting. I know it's a, it's a little bit cheesy, but it Bye. works for me. Bye. Bye. Hmm. Yeah, there's something about this. Because I don't play a lot of um, detective investigation games, especially ones like, like Paradise Killer has that sort of... Um, its own task list and how to connect, you know, the clues and, the, and check out the suspects. This sort of have, has that sort of thing as well, which is very cool. I like it. But I am playing on the amateur detective mode. So I guess we'll go to the graveyard. You just never know, like, what might happen, right? Like... Freaking, I can't believe that Psy thing came down. You just don't know if it's trapped. Hey. Oh, give me a fright there, man. You're not Savannah. No, but you must be Wade. Mm, Is she Wade. with you? Are you the new assistant? What's his name, get canned or something? Logan? I don't know. All I know is that she thought I'd be the right person for the case. She's not coming. What did you just say? She She's not coming. She was sorry to send me, but... Nothing could get her to come here. I never took her for a coward. Yikes, dude. Well, she seemed pretty scared of the ghosts. Ghosts? No, that ain't it. She's scared of seeing me. Y you're just gonna walk I off of the same- I Savannah understands okay. the mess she dropped you in. He's like- What kind of mess? <laughs> Take a look around and then you tell me. Who's more welcome here? The living or the dead? Anyway, Savannah had a package sent. I guess it must be for you. Oh, it's whoa. It's up in the house. Look at all this. I wonder if you can only select a few, right? Like, I, I didn't didn't really pay attention previously because there were a few choices. Like, you don't get to exhaust all of them. Like, I don't know. Uh...
Do you know Savannah? What's Clara's relationship to the rest of the family? What's Clara's relationship to the rest of the family? My cousin, Harper and Charlotte's cousin. She lived with the girls after her mama passed. Hmm. Who else is here? Clara, that's Jesselyn's mother. Colton, her fiance. Anyone else? Depends what you mean by anyone. Any other alive or verifiably real people? No. Hmm. Everyone's so suspicious. Who runs the family company? Clara. Do you think that's fair? No. No. Would you like to run the company? Good, sweet nonsense, no. <laughs> Do not even imply that I'm after that to anyone. Fair enough. From what I understand, the Thornton family business is very successful. <laughs> yep. We got money and all the trouble that buys. What do you think of Colton? I do not like that shifty little punk, but I have said that about all Jesse's boyfriends. With him, I mean it a little extra. Something's crooked with the two of them together. I don't know if she can see it or not. Oh, oh, thank you for the follow. Appreciate it. Welcome. I hope you're doing well. What was that? Something's crooked with the two of them together. What's that all about? Um, I'm just, uh, I don't know. I'm somewhat of a variety streamer, I guess. Something like that. But I, I tend to play a lot more action-y stuff. How's it going, Sarah? Thank you again. I'm doing good. Thank you very much. No worries. No worries. Welcome. Welcome. Thank you for the follow, Sarah. I hope things are going well. Yeah, it's a, it's a bit late for me. I thought, you know, I'm heading this. We're heading into the sp spooky season. Why not give this game a try? Um, I've had this for a while. Never, never gave it a shot. So I thought, you know what? Let's check it out. So far, I'm, I'm, I'm okay with it, you know? Um, like, the other detective game that I've sort of played before, just giving you a bit of a background, is um, Paradise Killer. I don't know if you've heard of that one. I haven't finished it. I should try to finish it. And then I played Disco Elysium. That game is... Takes a while. Takes a while. It's, it's a meaty, meaty game. But I would classify that as somewhat of a detective game. But yeah. Uh, okay. It's a bit different. Um, it's quite strange, Paradise Killer. It's um, it's hard to explain, but I I might explain it <laughs> later on. But yeah. So I'm guessing you like Nancy Drew games. We'll keep moving forward. Uh... Why aren't you in the house? I'm only on the island because Jesslyn's missing. Nothing's going to get me in that house. Hmm. He knows what's up with the house. Do you know Savannah? I did. Once. And now? And now I don't. It's just like that. Okay. <laughs> and now I don't. How did you meet Savannah? We went to the same bookstore. You don't seem like the type. Oh, Nancy. I take that as a compliment and an insult. <laughs> How long ago was this? A while. Gone now. It was a little old dark place. Carried these musty old books. Stuff that didn't exist anywhere else. What kind of stuff? All sorts. But I was there researching our family. Savannah had this way mm. of reading. Like there was something she needed to know real bad. One day I finally asked, What is it you need to know so bad? You know what she said? What? Nothing. She handed over the book she was reading and walked out. 
At first, I'm feeling a touch rejected. But then I look at the book. What was the book? That was the crazy thing. It was the Thornton family book of names. Births, deaths, marriage, and so on, going way back. Why would she have that? Why, indeed. I had to know. Took me some doing, but I tracked her down. What? This is... That's quite a bit happening. Oh, really? Okay. See, I've never played them before. This is my first time. Uh, I'm so far... It's, uh, it's grabbing me. I'm not even that far in. This is like my first Nancy Drew game. Have you played this one before? I've heard that there's more spookier Nancy Drew games. Super co- Yeah, it does feel cozy. <laughs> Except that I realize in this one, there is a, um... Like your car the Nancy Drew can get killed in this. <laughs> oh, never full game. Okay, maybe look out for it when it goes on sale. Yeah, it does seem like quite cozy. It, like if I do manage to play and finish this one, I might check out the other ones as well. I do. I, I want to hunt down the more the spookier ones though. Um. So you met Savannah because she was trying to find Charlotte's ghost? So you met Savannah because she was trying to find Charlotte's ghost? One of those people who met her was Savannah. Ask her, and maybe she'll tell you about it. After that, she became obsessed with Thornton Hall. We got to know each other. I fell for her like a Black Tuesday banker. In okay. the end, the landing was just as rough. <laughs> Did you enjoy the trial version? Uh, you said you were researching the family. You said you were researching the family. Why? After Charlotte died, that's when something I always knew came out shining so bright, I finally had to admit it. Long as it's been growing, the Thornton family tree's been split down the middle. The evil roots always trying to strangle out the good. I used to think I was on the side of good. And now? What do you think? Hmm. This is hard to tell. Shadow at the water's edge. Okay, that's good to know. Thanks, thanks for that. I'll watch out for that one. Uh, can't remember. For we okay. Well, I'm glad you enjoyed it. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Yep, same here. Mm. What did you mean about the family being split in two? You wouldn't know by looking around here, seeing the state we're in, but we're loaded. What's that have to do with anything? The Thornton family bought its money with blood, and not always our own. And you think one part of the family have more to do with this than the other? I don't speak ill of the dead, especially not when they're staring up at the soles of my boots. Look around. You'll see. This guy is so vague about everything. It's just like trying not to be mysterious, but he's really suspicious. Does anyone actually live here? No one lives out on the island, but just on the shore. See you later. Get on out of here now. <laughs> Get on out of here now. Okay. Is he using a phone? Is there even signal around here? Come on. Come on now. <laughs> Is that a satellite phone? Oh, you got really good emojis. Emotes. Oh, cool. This guy, what is he doing? What is he looking at? No need to jump, just me. Can you tell me about some of these <laughs> stones? I'll tell you what I can. But sometimes it's best to just look and listen. That there is Clara's mother. 
What can you tell me about her? Not a great deal. She loved her secrets. Never even told Clara who her daddy was. Why not? Don't know. When Clara was about ten, Rosalie got real sick. Every day, Clara would ask about her daddy. I think she was afraid of being left to fend for herself. But Rosalie wouldn't say. <laughs> just walked up behind us and started giving us some exposition. And just walked away. Don't mind me. Do 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 do. You gonna tell us about this one? <laughs> Jump scare exposition. Say, like, don't mind me. Here's another information, but he's not doing this one at all. Mm. The text is really hard to read for me. Like my eyes are just so bad. <laughs> Dude, there's no signal, man. No, go back. Oh, you can tell something? I heard some rustling. Who's this? May Newton. Hmm. Oh, you Harper hear him. Stone. <laughs> Harper. Indeed. She ran away shortly after Charlotte died. Long enough that we thought we'd lost her too. One day, she walked in the front door looking wild and thin as a spring sapling. Never said where she was. Her granddaddy was so mad, he left the stone to remind her of what she'd put them through. She'd sit out there and read. Don't know if it was spite or if it made her feel at home. Knowing her, probably both. <laughs> okay, thanks. What the? This blank one is my favorite. Why is that? Favorite. Who doesn't want a celebrity in the family? Especially one that rubs all the wrong people the wrong way. The Grey Lady. In the Civil War, they say she was a spy, passing codes for the North. If you look, you can find some of her contraptions here. Her service gave the Thornton family this land. Dang, we saw a book about, um, uh, women spies, uh, during the Civil War or something? Oh. oh, throughout history? Okay, so that there's a bit of a clue right there. Interesting. Is she one of the... Um... People? Uh, buried? Yeah. Wait, what was that? That guy's like... Walking around. Okay. Yikes. What? Did you see that? That's, uh, that's it's definitely locked. spoopy. Gotta be careful. Like, just now, um, I just, like, fiddle with some door and the trap came down and killed her <laughs> I can't believe it just gotta be careful gotta save him save scumming nope <laughs> uh, I didn't know you could die in this game I didn't know. So it happens in other Nancy Drew games as well, right? That's a that's a shocker for me. What you're telling me we can't investigate this further? Hmm.
Have we looked at these? Oh, no, we haven't. Then Charlotte. Dear sweet Charlotte, please come back. That's a sad inscription. It was a sad time. None of us wanted to see her leave. We didn't expect it to become what it's become. <laughs> Why does it sound like he's just sneaking up and like whispering it out? Not whispering, but sort of very close to our neck sort of thing. It's like, yes. <laughs> Beauregard Thornton, mean old codger. What, that's it? <laughs> mean old codger. Beauregard, eh? Wait, what are these three, four things? Hmm. Hmm. Virginia, my mother. Rest her soul. Can you tell me anything about her? Just that I miss her. And I always will. Oh. Okay. Luther, my daddy. Mama called him the king of slamming doors. Yikes. He had a hot temper, but a soft heart. And no mind for business. He was an intuitive. He brought me out here to the stones at night. Taught me how to open my eyes, shut up, and listen. You rest well, Daddy. Okay. Was there something else that I missed? It feels like I missed something. No, we've seen that one. Yep. So, we got a few lock places. Can I go through there? This thing's weird. Yeah, what's our task here? Package. Do we do that? Haven't done that. All right, Dancy. My apologies. Smudge. Wait, what? Addison. Oh, we... I didn't even get it. Where's that dang package? Well, I think someone's got our package. Let's, uh, let's go have a look, eh? I feel like I missed something in this place. Is is there anything on that? Hold up. Oh, I did. I think this thing moved or something like that. And I just missed it. We read that. All right, let's just keep on moving. Oh, what the? What is this? Guess we can't do anything with that now. Wait, wait. Oh. Huh. Was there something else we're supposed to be doing? Like, what the? Yeah, there's nowhere else to go. All right, let's back back in here. Nope. Wait, wait a sec, wait a sec. Nancy. Well, we got a few dialogue. Okay. Is there anything else I should know that might help me find Jessalyn? 
Yeah. Keep a suspicious eye on Wade. <laughs> Wade right. didn't seem all that dangerous to me. He neglected to tell you about his time spent in jail, I see. As a matter of fact, Wade's a nice guy when he wants to be. And only when he wants to be. Mm. I'm happy we have another set of eyes looking for Jesse. But I do hope you know what you're getting yourself into. What's the story with a locked room upstairs? It's Charlotte's. We don't go in there. It might help me figure out what's going on, if I could take a look around. Best of luck. That door locked itself up tight the day of her funeral. There's not a key in this world that'll open it. I've tried. We gotta go in there. It's called an axe. We'll figure it out. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh... Everyone else seems to be avoiding the house. Why are you in here? You'll think I'm crazy. Not after the day I've had. Fair enough. I guess I, I want to be close to whatever it is that took Jessalyn. What? See you later. Bye. What Did you have more to Jessalyn? say? Nope. See you later. Take care. Wait, have you seen this? Hear him. Thornton? Yeah, there's this book. Check it out. Female secret agents of the Civil War. So one of these could be uh, a Thornton. It's hard to tell which one though. Like, we need more clues unless it's it's not really that important. Elizabeth, hold up. Did we see Elizabeth before? Oh, hold on. Dishes and hidden messages in books. So there must be some sort of connection, right? Hmm. I just, I, I'm almost sure I saw a, I, I could be wrong. Fascinating, but we're going to need more information before we can make some assessment. Yeah, this is the place that kills. This is dangerous. Like there's this massive scythe out there, up there. Like, if I fill it with this thing, it's going to activate and come down the end. I don't know what to do with this thing, but I guess there's some sort of weight system. We're going to add stuff. Like, does it say? Oh, no. Don't tell me we got to combine things together. What? I didn't even know you could do this. Huh? This is so early 2000. Love it. <laughs> we, when, when I thought cats, I thought... It, I wasn't expecting these cats. <laughs> No, I think we'll just stick with that. Camera? What? We can take photos? That has only 30? What? Really? I had no idea. Holy moly. Hello? 
Hello. Hi, Nancy. Did you get the package I left for you? No. Not yet. Where Ask is around. it? It should be there by now. What have you been up to since we spoke last? I've been teaching the road to know my wheels. Are you working on the next book? I've been running away from the next book. In an empty house that was filling up with chatty ghosts. But who knows? When I'm out of gas, maybe I'll have no choice but to listen to what they have to say. If they're interesting, I'll send you a gallery to proof. If they're not, guess I'll go teach. I spoke to Wade. I figured that might happen eventually. Can I explain, or are we beyond that? I'm sure you have your reasons. I do. Wade said he was expecting you. Why didn't you tell me that? I was going to come. I meant it when I told him I was coming. But then... Then I got scared. Hmm. What scared you away from taking the case? To be blunt, the living Thorntons are just as scary as the dead ones. Why? They've dug so many graves on that rock that death himself is on the Christmas card list. <laughs> I can't help but wonder if they're misfortunate fools or just addicted to Sunday clothes and the sound of a spade taking a bite out of cold clay. <laughs> Misfortunate, misfortunate fools addicted to Sunday clothes and the sound of a spade taking a bite out of the cold clay. Wow. Goodbye. Good night. Good night. Hmm. Hello? Addison, my name is Nancy Drew. I'm calling to see if you can help me with something. Is this about Jessalyn? Yes. yes. I can't. I'm sorry. The sooner we can find out what happened to her, the better her chances of survival. Okay. I'll help with what I can. We shouldn't be standing here with the dangerous trap. It's just above our head. Oh, okay. Uh, I guess we can go How's through Jessalyn's all of them. Jessalyn's relationship with Clara? Okay. Maybe a little strained. How so? Jess used to call her Chairman Mom. Behind her back, of hmm. course. Do you think Clara could have anything to do with Jessalyn going missing? I don't think Jess was afraid of Clara. But still, I can't say for sure. Hmm. What do you think of Colton? What's to think? He's always been decent to me and Jess. Can you walk me through what happened the night Jessalyn went missing? She was about to get married, and I think the pressure of it was getting to her. It was supposed to be a night of blowing off some steam. Jess always loved a good scare. She used to make me sneak into scary movies with her when we were kids. So, in a weird way, spending the night searching for a ghost sort of made sense for a bachelorette party. At first, it was really fun. We were running around trying to scare ourselves silly. We were making these recordings like we were on a ghost hunter show. Then things got strange. Strange, you say? T tell me wh what? Secret passages or tunnels where you? Why can't we ask them? What do you mean strange? What? What is this? Is there anything you remember that might help me find Jessalyn? No. Actually, wait. Hang on. Upstairs, uh, there was this door. Jess was desperate to get it open. Between you and me, I was relieved that she couldn't figure it out. Really? Why? I could feel eyes on me all night long. You know, I'm getting suspicious of Edison. She seems to like really push this idea of a haunted place. Or maybe she genuinely believes in it. Ah. What were you doing at Thornton Hall that night? A scavenger hunt, but I don't know. There was something strange about it. In what way? Jess was looking for something toward the end of the night. Kind of desperately. It stopped being fun. That's all I know. How was Jessalyn acting that night? She was classic Jess for most of the night. Then something happened? 
Yeah. We were in the house, and suddenly she just screams. And then she's nowhere to be found. What happened? I was alone in the house, jumping at every noise, too afraid to move. It felt like hours. Then she came back. She wouldn't say what had happened. She wouldn't even talk to me. She wanted to be left alone. She went downstairs, and that was that. The cat is cute, yeah. <laughs> Adorable. You said things got strange. What did you mean? It was her and me up in that freezing house, and I remember thinking, I'll never get to sleep. But then I started to feel fuzzy. Fuzzy? Like I was underwater or something. And I noticed Jess was gone again. Underwater? I wanted to get up and find her, but I, I couldn't move. It was like this invisible hand was pinning me down. I heard a strange voice. It wasn't Jess. Then it was the morning. I was alone and Jess was gone. Hmm. Oh, sorry. I missed like a whole bunch of your messages or a couple of messages. Yeah, this is a perfect place for a phone call. I was getting like really drawn into this. The voice acting is pretty good. You said you heard a voice. Charlotte. I'm sure of it. Did she say anything? She sang. I only heard a little bit. Mm. Would you consider yourself a believer in the paranormal? If you'd asked that last week, I would have made some crack about Bigfoot. And now? And now I'm going to say that I don't believe. Because I'm afraid if I let myself believe, I'll be opening a door that no one can close. Did you notice any secret passages or tunnels while you were at the house? No, but it was so drafty in there. It would surprise me if there weren't. See you later. Fine, Jess. Hmm. Let's do best Marvin. Let's back up. Let's back up. I don't feel safe here. <laughs> Look at it. Look at all these rusty implements. It's terrifying. Did I miss something here? It's terrifying. Was there something in the corner? We already looked at that. Uh, okay, we can make a phone call here. Let's save that because we've gone through quite a bit of a... Quite a bit of dialogue. I guess we can skip through it if anything happens, but I don't want to have to do that. Let's see, Bess. Hello? Bess's phone. All right, bonus Ned. What are you two up to? George is in New York. So, she got the internship with that Technology of Tomorrow place? Yeah, Ned and I were just planning a road trip for when you're back. I was in the middle of trying to convince Ned to grow a bad mustache so we can hang out in Brooklyn. Not going to happen. Someone has to, Ned, and George already said no. It was a really angry no, too. Anyway, did you make it to the hmm. island? I did. I've been doing a little research, and I can see why Savannah sent you. Why's that? If I believed in ghosts, I wouldn't come within a few hundred miles of Black Rock Island. I can definitely see why. Even I have to admit it does have a certain abyss gaze is also into you vibe to it. Put that on a billboard. I've got your back. I've been reading up on missing persons cases and hauntings. Really? Oh, that's great. I, on the other hand, have been watching videos of otters. So good at stacking things. Additionally, I've kidnapped Ned. I've been so bored since George left, and Ned's a very active listener. Mm-hmm. <laughs> See? And he's also very quick to Stockholm. Nickerson family trait. We <laughs> like being liked. Oh, thanks, you two. So, I'm guessing those are the characters in other Nancy Drew games. There's something strange about Jessalyn's disappearance. What's that? There's no ransom note. That does complicate things. 
But I've read that most missing person cases involve the immediate family. You're right. I guess the best move is to keep the family talking. Maybe they'll let something slip. Or maybe they're trying to tell you something. How so? Remember in Kyoto, you told me that ghosts are what people invent when an injustice can't be fixed? Sounds me-ish. If that's the case here, once you figure out what the deal with the ghost is, I bet it'll point right to Jessalyn. And if the ghost is real, then case closed. A ghost did it. If that turns out to be the case, please don't tell me. I like living in a world where ghosts are probably not real. I already have to vault into bed after every scary movie for fear of ankle grabbers. Ankle grabbers? Whoa, we've got a bit of a dialogue. Okay, let's go through it. I met Wade. I still say giving your child a verb for a name dooms them to a life of hearing mediocre jokes. What's he like? Hmm. He's got a bit of a rough edge. He seemed surprised that I came instead of Savannah. What do you mean? He wanted Savannah here, specifically. Why? I don't know, but I intend to find out. Yep. All right, let's... Uh... I want to catch you up on the case. So it's a missing persons case, right? Do you think she's actually missing? I don't know. I've heard of runaway brides, but I don't think that's the case. If it's a missing persons case, why aren't the police taking care of it? Well, they are, but since she's an adult, there's only so much they can do. Ned was telling me about the ghosts out there. Do you think maybe they're related? Actually, I believe in this ghost. Ned, do I have permission to do a spit take in your living room? No. Hmm. I'm doing it anyway. Say that again. Please don't. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Stand down, Bess. Mm. The Nickersons are a tidy people. I wasn't really going to do it, guys. <laughs> Unless someone made me laugh. And this is that super red soda that's still on the market, even though it's been linked to distractibility in 9 out of 10 Besses. Back to you. Are you finally trading in your Skeptics Club card? And miss the dinner that probably won't happen this year? <laughs> no way. People here believe in the ghost. I think if I don't take the ghost story at least a little seriously... I might miss something. Smart. Well, I hope so. Hmm. So she's trying to keep an open mind. They're her friends, basically. Oh, okay. Well, that's cool that she can uh, get some help. I need help uncovering something in an old painting. Look for some turpentine and some type of fabric to apply it with. How do you know about painting restoration? Well, I studied that in elementary school. Oh, Ned's got some info. That's good. I need to charge a phone that has no charger. I'm not good with koans. Ned? Oh, I got this. I once made a potato battery by hooking up some wires. Yeah, well, I once turned a potato into an abomination by forgetting about it for a year. Sorry. Hmm. Hard not to get jealous around Mr. Knows Things here. Continue being useful. Actually, that's all I've got. If you find some potatoes or oranges and some alligator clips, that might get you part of the way there. We've got oranges, we got oranges, and we've got that book that says about potatoes as well. Mm, okay, cool. That is I good to know. I met Jessalyn's mom. Poor her. Assuming she's innocent, what's your impression? She's reserved. Can't fault her for that, but it does make her hard to read. I've never been a mom, but I have owned my fair share of fish. And no way, no way anyone could take care of something and even think of... Nancy, it's too sad. Can't do it. I owe it to Jessalyn to distrust everyone, even her. I know. This case is like a big, fat, tall cloud of sadness that's sitting in front of me and using its cell phone when it's not supposed to. We just got back from a pretty rowdy opening night screening of the Relation Shipwreck. It was really bad. All I want is to see the screen and to not deal with jerks, to have a movie-style romance, and for no one to get hurt ever. Mm. Find her, Nancy. I'll do my best. Promise. I can't promise anything, but we'll, we'll see. I met Jessalyn's fiancé, Colton. Where's he fall on the cute to guilty spectrum? That's not a valid spectrum. 
Like hmm. fun it isn't. Oh, is this because Ned is on the line? No. I'm not calling off the dogs. You're just going to have to find a way to tell me that balance is the public's need to know with Ned's presumably fragile ego. My ego is perfectly fine. Is that so? Nickerson men laugh in the face of insecurity. <laughs> That's so, Neddard. A test. Nancy, describe Colton's looks using the International Ned Cuteness Unit. We talking half a Ned, two Neds? That's not very nice, is it? Wow, I really like this. It's like, it's not just full on try to solve cases. They try to like do this character interaction stuff and you get to have these personalities. That's really cool. I like that. I don't want to, I don't want to be like that. There's, there's a little bit of a role playing thing. I don't want to do that. That good looking? Yikes. That's not the important <laughs> part. Right. Ticking clock, kidnapping, etc. How guilty does he seem? For consistency, please state your answers in Ned units. <laughs> Couldn't tell you yet. He doesn't seem as worried as I'd expect, but maybe he's the type to internalize his feelings. Huh. So that's a thing you can do? The boyfriend is statistically favored when it comes to crimes like this. Try to get him talking about the relationship. I studied that in preschool. Hmm. <laughs> Thanks, guys. See you later. Take care. Interesting. Oh, oh, wait, we're still sold on. I can't read that properly. There's like a name under that. Okay, let's head back to that room. Save this. Well, that's, uh, I, I like the interaction. Like, you know, you're in this decrepit place, scary, spooky place, cold, mysterious, uh, people that are, you know, situated around this area. It's kind of nice having those friends on the phone. It's like somewhat comfy. What's this? Pennies? Oh, what? We can't do this? Really? Hmm. So how do we do this? Because there are wires here. Am I missing something? What am I missing? Oh, it says coins. Oh, we need vinegar. We don't have that. Fruit. Wait. Oh. We tried that. It doesn't work. I guess this is not how you would do it. Cotton. Press a copper coin and one nail into each fruit. Connect all fruits together in a row by attaching positive terminal clip to the nail in one fruit. And opposite negative terminal clip to the coin in another fruit. How do we do that? Like, this doesn't make sense. It's a bit too scientific for me. <laughs> Like, we've got pennies, we've got oranges, we've got the cables. What What's going on? Am I missing something? She did say something just now. Like, oh, I, I can't do that just yet. Not, not, like, earlier on, I mean. He was like, uh, what's going on? Can't do that yet. Don't know about that. Need turpentine, I think. Did that. That's it. Did that. What? That's it? That's all we have to... Okay, it's a tiny island. Yeah. 
Yeah, we're gonna have to figure out how to do that thing. I'm missing something and I have no idea what I'm missing. Oh. Hmm. What? Hmm. What is that? I Oh, the nails. Right? Hmm. No? Hmm. She doesn't tell you. She doesn't say we're going to need like a claw to pick it out. Hold up. Yeah, we can't hmm. do anything with this. What is this? Cotton Genco? Cot Cotton something. Gin? I'm missing like a whole bunch of stuff. I feel I feel like uh I'm not clicking on the right things. Oh, hold up. Hold up. Hang on, I can't quite see that. What does it say? Oh, Mariana. That's the person in the story. I'm gonna like leave my face almost next to the screen. So there's a door we can't get into. Yeah, I do. I do need a magnifying glass in real life. My eyesight is, is really bad as well. And the, the, the screen being, you know, in general, being quite dark makes it difficult for me. <laughs> you know, like, like a, a screen, a magnifying glass I can turn onto my monitor. I don't think Wade's the, the person. It's a red herring. But I think Wade might have some idea about the traps that's laid around the place. So, if he's aware, that means he might be involved. Remind me to sneak off if he's holding a rock. Or it could be Jess Jesslyn ran off. Where's this package? Oh, there it is. We didn't see... Was I like... Because I was at this table before. Did my eyes completely miss this thing? I'm going to have to play back later on and check my stream. It's probably just there. Oh, man. EMF reader. What the... 
the ghost of Thornton Hill. True encounter, encounters retold. Nancy, here's some of my old paperwork from when I was looking into the sh Char into Charlotte myself. I know you're going to be looking for Jaslyn during the day, but night is the best time to investigate the family. That's when the spirits gets restless. It's more ways than one. In more ways than one, you probably get more out of the family than anyway. Really, it's it's really hampering on my uh, vision. The EMF gadget I included works pretty well on the property. I don't normally use these, but there is a strong correlation between the meter peaking and documented sightings. I know you don't like things that can't be explained, but just because it can't be explained yet doesn't mean you should disregard it. Call me if you want to talk. I don't know what help I can offer, but I'm here if you need me. Good luck, Savannah. How many pages is this? Oh, there's quite a few pages. All right, I'm not going to read it all out. Swim over. Yikes. L was working on the stuff like she always did. Yes. Huh. Anything else? Guess that's it, right? Okay. Uh. Check. Check. We're going to have to use the EMF. Oh. Oh. What the? Get this thing up. Dang, I'm getting goosebumps. Goosebumps. Yikes. What was that? It's a ghost. Or is it? That was spooky. Very cool. Yeah, I thought so. The ZMF is going nuts in, in this place. For that area. Interesting. Hmm. We don't have any... Where would you find the turpentine? I like how... Um, almost nonchalant... Nancy was when she's... 
after seeing that, she's like, what was that? <laughs> I'll be like, I'm out of here, man. I, I'm gone. There's no way I'm sticking around this place. Let's see. Oh, who knows, right? Like, maybe there's a part of me be like, hmm. I like to see some more of that. <laughs> I don't know. Hello. Hello. I saw something really strange. I saw something really strange. I did too. What do you think that was? Wait, what? Excuse me, I need to be alone. What? Do you want to talk? Let's talk. We both saw something strange, right? What's the problem? Come on. Talk to me. Talk to me. <laughs> yes, hon. Oh, we can have another conversation. I've heard about the ghost, but can you tell me anything about the real Charlotte? My cousin. But everyone thought we were sisters. She died here. Join the old family, as they used to say. When I was a little girl, my mama used to say, after we Thornton's passed, we keep on living right here. Every night would be a beautiful ball with songs and cute boys to dance with. She wasn't trying to scare me to death, but nonetheless, I did not sleep well on story nights. It does sound a little eerie. That was back when Thornton Hall was pretty. Now... I don't even want to entertain the thought. Hmm. Did your mother say much else about the ghosts here? Too much. If she thought there was a ghost about, she'd fall to pieces being so sad. Sad? Most people are afraid of ghosts. She had this weird belief that Thornton ghosts aren't around forever. They got a short time to make their peace. If they don't, they get bitter, real mean and nasty. Until they forget everything that made them human. Interesting. And then they slip into the cracks of the world to live with the others. Oh. The others? The lost souls. From an accident that happened here years back. Mama called them hungry shadows. Why? I don't want to know. She said they were all tangled together, lost and scared and mean. My mama was a good woman, but dang, if she didn't scare me half to death with irregularity. Dang, that's some weird story. Hold up. She's like, she's spooked by all these stories, and yet she's in this house. Whereas that other guy, he's like, nah, I don't want to be in that house. He clearly is spooked by this place as well, and he'd rather be hanging out in the graveyard. What is going on? Goodbye. Bye. So something isn't right. Why would that guy be so spooked with this house? Would he be spooked because... He didn't mention anything about ghosts, right? He was even, like, it was super vague. So maybe... Cause did he mention something about, like, contraptions and stuff like that in this place? That used to belong to um, one of the Thorntons... I think, like, she was supposed to be a spy or something. Belonging to, I don't know. I'm like, there's pieces of information just floating around in my head. And I can't quite put them together. Oh, did I miss this? Sarah. 1842. Hmm... Like, she would rather be in this place. There's something that doesn't seem right. Can't do that right now. Oh, yeah, she's in the way. What the? I really like this bit. Check it out. I feel like having some tea. A little bit of sugar. 
Wait, did she put in... I'm gonna... I keep forgetting. Never mind. She ate the whole thing. Ate that... That lemon or lime. Yeah, she downed it big time. She didn't... Oh! Uh, is my... Uh-oh. I think my webcam's starting to freeze up. What the heck? Yeah, she's... <laughs> Loves some of that lemon. Or lime. I can't quite tell. Wait, 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 wait. Nothing there. What's up? What's up? Well, what do you think happened to Jessalyn? Yeah, I'm trying to avoid thinking about it. I have a... My mind can get caught up in a real dark place. You know, when things around me get bad. What do you mean? Uh, ignore me. I've been up way too long. Do you know anything about Clara's past? No. It's funny you ask. Why is that? I could tell Jess had something to tell me about Clara. She'd get so close and just stop dead. She never told you anything? I know Clara's mom died when she was young, and she ended up living with her cousin's family, but that's it. Clara's mom died when she was young. She ended up living with her cousin's family. Goodbye. Goodbye. Did I have multiple... Don't want to go in the house. Don't blame you. Yes. Yeah, so, uh, See you like... later. Later. I thought maybe there might be more options, conversation options. This thing was swinging around earlier on. Uh, now I'm spooked. I thought it was just a graphical thing. That is spooky. I can't leave now. Sorry, I, I didn't want you to leave. Oh wait, I missed that. Can't believe it. Scavenger list. What's that? Track down Charlotte's statue. Right. Take a picture of the entrance. The ruins. The ruins. Find the key to Charlotte's bedroom. Hold up. Gravestone epitaph hunt. Oh. Ghost? The heck? See the ghost? Find a painting with a horse. Skeleton. Open the crypt. They saw a ghost, but didn't get proof of the ghost. Gee, that last one, eh? Hold up, what? Why is there like an eye there? Oh, does that mean I can interact? Hmm. How much do you want to bet that this thing is gonna go nuts at the crypt? Yep. Oh, what the? Oh, hold up. Oh, hold, hold up, hold up. Why was it? Hang on a second.
What was that? Did the head turn? I missed that. It's the statue. I keep missing that. It did. Yikes. Because I heard it, right? I heard something. It did it before and I missed it. That is spoopy. So something's going on with that. Hmm. That is spoopy indeed. He's got more to say. Wanna hear a ghost? Check it out. That's a fancy equipment you've got there. Yo, suspense. How's it going, man? Welcome. I'm doing all right. Playing a bit of a Nancy Drew game. Investigating ghosties. Oh, well. Missing person. But. Thought we'll play something like this. Heading into the spoopy season. How's things? It's getting late for me as well, so I'm getting a bit tired. <laughs> but yeah, I'm doing all right. Thank you. How about yourself? Yes. S the spooky Halloween season. There is something comfy about this game, though. It's kind of weird. <laughs> Maybe it's the dialogue. Or the voice acting. But yeah. Well, it's quite, quite interesting. Oh, dang. Sorry, man. Sorry to hear that. Glad you're doing... You're feeling better, though. I'm glad you're feeling better. Get well soon, Suspense. Get well soon. Sending you best wishes. Get, get plenty of rest. Plenty of uh, fluid... What can you tell me about Charlotte? Charlotte was something special. Just like our Jessamine. She had the most beautiful voice. When she sang, it was like sunlight busting through fog. Sounds like you were close. She was the talented one of the bunch. You can still hear her sing if you stop to listen in the quiet, dark places. Uh... Yeah, yeah. Uh, let me let me think for a sec. Um, to okay, so for me, usually whenever we play, yeah, because this this weekend we, tomorrow is my Saturday. It's nighttime for me right now. Um, I have to do some shopping, so I'll let you know because I gotta do some gross grocery shoppings. Um, I'll let you know. I'll message you. Um, I think it should be fine. The, my shopping should be shorter than before. Uh, because I don't have that many things I need to buy. But yeah, I'll, I'll let you know. I'm glad. That's good. That's good. You're drinking lots of water. It's important. Do people really come here trying to meet Charlotte's ghost? Around the time Charlotte's ghost was driving the family away, the stories started to spread. Little kids around here started playing this game to scare themselves silly. They'd turn off the lights and say, Fire so red, night so black. Dear sweet Charlotte, please come back. Over and over again until they'd just about scare themselves to death. It was just a game, but that's when people started jumping the fence at night hoping to meet her. Saying that same silly rhyme. Most had just come and go in peace. But the ones who found her, it messed them up real good. A couple even went into shock. Wait, is this guy believing it or not? He said he's recorded the ghost sound. Hmm. Is it true that you have a questionable past? You asking if I really went to jail? Yes. I advise against it. Well, why? Well, it's not a fun place, and they don't let you leave. No, <laughs> I mean, why did you go to jail? I know what you meant. 
I took a tour of the seasons. My debt is paid. That's all. Yeah, this guy's KG. Was it anything, something that would make you a danger to someone like Jesselyn? Get this straight, girl. <laughs> I never hurt no one in my life. Now go. Go on, get. Now go. Go on, get. <laughs> Can I listen to more recordings? Sure. Doesn't sound like any ghost. <laughs> I don't know. Uh... I saw something I can't explain in the house. That's why you couldn't get me in there for nothing. I don't believe in ghosts, but... That don't stop you from feeling them. Would you believe my happiest memories live in that house? Christmases and long summer nights stargazing on the roof. Hmm. But then again, I have no idea how they should sound like, and I hope I don't have to... <laughs> Find that out. Have you always been a ghost hunting enthusiast? I'm not exactly enthusiastic about the dead. No offense meant. But yes, I do find it interesting. Oh, okay. Why? Life is a quest for truth, is it not? And death has a way of stripping away all pretensions. That's pretty philosophical for a guy wearing boots. <laughs> you <laughs> northerners don't have a lock on big thinkers. We got plenty. Like Roscoe J. Redbrook and the Gimble Tucky Boys, and I dare you to say their lyrics don't equal those of the Greek poets. And we got that old guy with the white suit and the chickens. Point is, what? I like ghosts because they show me what is, not what I want to see. And wearing boots don't make you stupid, makes you smart if it's muddy. All right, man. All right. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. Let's just think about what he said in relation to ghosts and death. What was he saying? Oh, the, the search for the truth or something? Although, personally, I kind of like in mysteries you know a bit of a mystique things that don't really get solved that's the intriguing things but when when you solve them it loses that mystique but i guess it depends do you have a key to the crypts sorry sorry goodbye adios Adios. Okay. All right. All right, dude. We didn't even get to ask him, like, where did he record that? Where did he... How, uh, where did he get that recording? Yeah, this is, uh, this is not an easy... I mean, obviously, it's not going to be easy. Is one of these things going to... Holy moly. What is going on with this one? How about this? What? Wait, 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 what? Charlotte Thornton. Why is, why is that one all freaking out? Oh God! Okay, okay. What about you? Nothing. Nothing. Oh, the achieve <laughs> achievement unlock EMF. That's funny. Oh, he's not using a phone. I thought he was using a phone. He's trying to, like, record ghost um, noises. He's using it. That's a recorder. Hmm. 
Okay. There's nothing there. Yeah, I've changed my mask. Um, because the other one was kind of hard to, to breathe. Uh, and it's getting warmer as well. So I've decided to change it. But I don't know if I'll stick with this. This one is easier for me to breathe and talk. But, um, it's kind of, it, it looks kind of odd. It looks kind of odd. I don't know if it's... I don't know if it's... I'm, I'm like testing out a few masks. Hey. Nope. See you later. Goodbye. Can you imagine if the EMF just went off on him? That'd be quite creepy. Oh, 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 oh. I better check out what's going on upstairs. Oh, ho, oh, oh, ho, spooky time. Let's save this. That's it. Yeah, we know that already. And we... Make yourself blind. Call Charlotte home. I need to figure out what this means. Even ghosts have their favorite ha haunts. Charlotte requests a meeting with you. Recite a rhyme with Dreadful Meter. Where Dreadful Meter is at its peak, make yourself blind. Don't dare peak. Call Charlotte home. And hear her speak. She may just let you live. What the... Make yourself blind? What the... No. That, this... It ain't... I don't think it's... Ghosties. I read all this. This is a pretty small house. Yes. Yes. Bye. See Nothing. you later, hon. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Nope. Um... It says at its peak. With dreadful meter. Is that what it means? Follow the instructions in the note to meet the ghost. So we're going to have to find a place where this meter is just going ballistic. I think we have to be inside inside this uh room for that to happen there better not be any jump scares i kind of prefer it to be more of like a creepy sort of atmosphere than just a jump scare oh it looks like we have to go back to this horrible section Almost off the charts. Yes. This must be the place. You're right. Hold up. Put that back. Save this. Cause it looks like Oh, can we actually overwrite like delete saves? I have a tendency to overdo it. Wait, how do we How do we read it out?
Can't check that off yet. So how do we... That didn't sound good. Uh-oh. Yeah, if I... If I did that again... Like, if I try to pull it again, the trap would activate. How do we... I don't understand what what are we supposed to be doing here? Like how do you even read it out? Even ghosts have their favorite horns. Charlotte requests a meeting with you. Recite a rhyme with a dreadful meter. A dreadful meter's at its peak. Make yourself blind. Don't dare peak. Call Charlotte home. And hear her speak. She may just let you live. Make yourself blind? Like what? What are we supposed to be doing? Oh, what the? Oh, the, the napkin. Fire so red, not so black. Dear sweet Charlotte, please come back. Oh, oh. Oh, dang. I forgot. Fire so red, night so black. Dear sweet Charlotte, please come back. What's going on? Where are you taking me? What? Tell me, who are you? Nancy. I'm here to help Jesslyn. Give me a reason to let you live. Mind you, a good one. What? One reason to spare you. Give it to me now. The spirits are growing impatient with my mercy. Oh, dang. I... You can't scare me. Help me find Jesslyn or get out of the way. Yeah, get out of the way. Remove the blindfold. Just who are you? What the? Harper, can I trust you? Well, you're can Harper. you be trusted? All right, all right. Can you be trusted? Well, that depends. Can you be trusted? Can you be That's trusted? That's a no now, isn't it? You'll be wanting to know why I am hiding under the house. That would be at the top of my list of questions, yes. It's because I don't want anyone up there to find me. Why not? It is undeniably frigid here. Cold as the crypts themselves. I'll build a fire, and the fire will build some smoke, and the smoke will build some rain. Are you ignoring my question? Not hmm. ignoring, no. Elongating the moments in between the asking and the hearing. Pausing for effect. Okay. <laughs> Could you tell me now? Rather a dramatic. moment, hon. <clears throat> it's because I'm a grandly unbalanced sociopath with delusions of grandeur and a history of erratic behavior and violent tendencies. My Who family resents me. They have publicly said that I'm a freak. People in the town point and stare. The neighborhood children used to call me witch lady. Until my dedication to the ironic led me to bake cookies for the sweet darlings. But it was my love of the dramatic reversal that won out in the end. And I threw the little runts down a well. Yikes. You what? Oh, I'd never do such a thing. But it would be funny. Not funny, haha, -ha, but funny. Ah, help, I'm in a well. So that's me. Tell me about you. I bet you're fascinating. I... Oh, wait, shut it. I forgot the most important thing. Do not tell anyone I am down here. If you do, I'll... I'll just do something rotten. Here, take this. <laughs> Thanks. Wow, okay. 
What's up with what's up with her? Quite dramatic. I kind of I kind of yeah. Okay. I'm just I'm just trying to soak that all it's just soaking it all in. I can't quite tell if she's really, you know, out there or she's just it, it's this all an act. Um interesting, interesting lady. Go now. Oh. We gotta be careful if we push this thing. This will come down. So what did we just get? Hmm, I should look for those portraits. More portraits. For portraits, solve the riddle. Still have to do that. Mm. Did that. To find me again, look to the portraits. Great. Oh, holy freak. That thing scared me. <laughs> that, that just, that scared me. So you can't do anything with this battery. Wait, what? What was that? Oh. You can't do anything with this. That's, uh, that's kind of annoying. I met Harper. She's completely normal and not disturbing at all. Not even little. For example, that was a completely normal way to meet a new person. <laughs> Love it. Right? Oh, she wasn't in that. Um, I don't know why I thought she was in there. In that room. She wasn't. She. It was somewhere else. I think it's like a secret compartment somewhere. Is it this thing? Uh, what was this? What, was, what did it say? Nope. <laughs> I've composed my own variation. Family so strange, house so old, blah, 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 blah. Tired. I think I need to find a way to get a little more rest. Oh, wait. Maybe... This will help with Call of the Ghost, the first thing, not the one I wrote. <laughs> but remind me to thank Dad for keeping with way less creepy family traditions. Wait, what? Hang, hang on. Was there something that... Oh, okay. This is a suspect. Oh, hang on. Is it... 
Now, I don't know why I thought it might be here because it a portrait in there. Music seems so melancholy. Hmm. Wait, hold up. Melancholic? Rather than... Spooky. I think it does sort of cycle through it, though. What was that all about? What? Hmm. Huh. What's with this? Hmm. What? Why can you, can we? Hmm. Look to the portraits. How, I'm still kind of confused as to why that EMF thing went nuts down there. And then we could recite that poem. And then she knows about it. Because she wrote the notes, right? What the heck? What is... I'm so confused. No, 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 no. Hang on, hang on. Whoa. That was creepy. Let's save that. That was creepy. Wait, the bag's gone. No. She took it with her. I mean, she would have, right? Wait. Are these clues? Where did she go? Oh, hold up, what was that? Hmm. Hmm. Come on, Nancy. You gotta give me more than just hmm. Anything changed? No. Oh, where did she go? Oh, what? He's gone too. What the heck is going on here? I wonder if Wade's gone as well. Yeah, what? Dude, what is going on? This is creepy. Well, what are you... Wait, 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 wait. Have we seen all this? Yeah, these are the two read in the story in the book. What's with the rustling?
Where is everyone? What the heck is going on? I guess this is the only place that we can hang around in. Cause, but there's not much I can do, right? What what is this device? Something some some sort of cutting implement? This is terrifying. Truly terrifying to me. I don't understand what this is for. It's not this thing. Maybe we gotta make phone calls now. Let's, let's go outside. Nancy, what's happening? I met Harper. What's she like? She might be completely crazy. Either that or she wants me to think that's the case. So, who is she? She's a Thornton, all right, but that's pretty much all I know. She seems to be hiding from everyone. Hiding? For the moment. You met a weirdo who has an obvious affinity for ghost kidnappings. During the course of your investigation of a ghost kidnapping? And you didn't tell anyone? Ned, say something to uncrazy your girlfriend. Don't be that way? <laughs> Not compelling, Ned. Should I say it like you would? If that's what it takes. Nancy, your newfound buddy ship mm. with that baddie basement dweller is freaking me out. I have trained you well. Now go, Nancy. Tattle like the wind. <laughs> All right. I think you may have a point. I just saw a ghost. So what are we talking? Puppet? Mirror tricks? No. Listen, don't tell anyone else this. Is this going to be a ghost blind item? A well-known spirit was spotted at a popular haunt canoodling with a certain ghost about town known for his habit of appearing in mirrors. Can you channel Sirius Bess for a moment? Okay. Homework, my dad talking about taxes, that picture of a puppy who got lost. <laughs> Old paintings of European royalty. I'm there. Thanks. Since I've gotten here, things have been getting stranger and stranger. I can't shake this feeling. It's like an odd weight. I'm not saying the ghosts are real here. I'm just saying... Huh, I don't know what I'm saying. That doesn't sound like the Nancy I know. I know. I just need to clear my head. There is always a scientific explanation. Ned, you gotta tell her to come home. Still gotta work on that whisper, Bess. Nancy, you're really scaring me. Come home. I will, just as soon as I can. Wait. Ned's with Nancy, right? Why is he a... No, it's just... <laughs> Never mind. Goodbye. See ya. This is being, this is being uh, silly. Wait, we gotta take photos. That's what I'm not doing right now. I think we gotta take photos. There's nothing there. How far can we actually zoom in? Whoa.
Is there any point to this? I uh, don't think so. Set as wallpaper? No, 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 no. We're not setting that as wallpaper. Can we actually send the photos to to people? Hmm. Huh. Exactly. I'm kind of stumped. Do we take photos of as many? See, I don't know when to take photos. That's the thing. Like, where is everyone? That's the, that's the other thing as well, right? Like, everyone's gone. Yeah, I was thinking about that too. Taking photos of the paintings, but... I mean, we could do that. There's some photos in there, I think. Was there taking that one? Have we got this one? I've already lost my, uh, nope. I'm starting, starting to get sleepy, sleepy. Wait, we got that. What's that noise? This is the ambient noises. I wonder if we can get an achievement. Take photos of everything. Is there any more? Feels like I missed something. Got that one. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Got that right? It's starting to blend in. Yeah, we have. Yeah, there's no other. Oh, there's a turpentine. What? How did I miss that? How did I miss that? Holy freak. I totally missed that. That is just... That is bad. I totally missed that. I can't pour this directly on the painting. All right, all right. There. Wait, what? Can I not use the cotton on that? I can't believe this. Hmm. Huh. So what do you want me to do, Nancy? You're gonna have to... 
I guess I could use the hint, but I won't. I feel like we're getting close. We just have to go down that. Uh, maybe maybe we have to use like the work area or something. No. We're so close. We've got the turpentine. We've got the EMF. We've got the oranges. We've got the pennies. We've got the cables, but we just can't put things together yet for some reason. What? Tell me. Tell me. Oh, hang on. Oh, nope. Okay, sorry, I'm just talking to myself. <laughs> Can't pour it directly. We can't even pick up that jar. Are we are we missing something here? Do we mix and match stuff in this game? Not mix and match, like combine items in the in in the uh, inventory. Ooh, did you see that? See that shadow? I saw that before. So it's like a random thing, I'm guessing, just like the the moving statue head. Hmm. It's like this complete silence. That's what scares me now. I can't believe I missed that turpentine. Was there something more? What did she say? Hang on. I just can't use it directly on there. I can't pour this directly on the painting. What? Hmm. What can hmm. you do? Hmm. So close, yet so far. And what am I missing? I feel like I'm missing something. Can we use this on this? I can't pour this directly on the painting. So how are we gonna do this, hey? Wait, have I seen this section before? Oh no, she was standing here before. Um, back to that room. Wait. Oh, I thought we could pick up the scythe. Scythe? Mm. Oh, if you like puzzles, like just purely puzzles, not like character interactions. The room games are pretty good. They're like, they're puzzle games. But they're quite spooky as well. They it did get to a point where um I think room three or four three or four where you gotta start doing some sort of arithmetics and I'm so bad at them or mathematics nothing too hard but I just don't have the heads for that stuff. I think you could be. I think like I'm. T I'm usually quite bad with puzzles, 
but the room you could try like the first one if you ever see it on sale it's not too bad and it's got a hint system hint system as well um but like the last one i haven't finished it yet it got really difficult for me i needed to look it up online to to do that math bit um but the hint system that's in there it seems to be fine for most of the puzzles yeah i'm usually quite bad at puzzles but i think the room is quite approachable there's something very um tangible is not the right word it's um tactile is not the right word it's something along those lines yeah i mean look up youtube obviously youtube clips and stuff like and um see it, it might not be your thing at all but i think it's got quite a good good atmosphere in it and and i do i did enjoy my time with it for the most part i didn't like rush through it or anything like that i played it a bit at a time um i haven't finished i haven't finished the third one yet or four. what the did you see that what was that that was just crawling down what the freak was that? There's all these weird graphical things that you just don't know if it's just random. Was that a rat? I just couldn't quite see what it was. Yeah, it looked like a rat or something. Or some weird... I thought it was a cloth. That was just... I don't know. Very strange. I think it could have been a rat. Yeah, there's no one else to talk to. Maybe you should make a phone call. Hi, hon. You've done a lot of research on the Thornton family, right? What have you found? Like a lot of powerful families around here, they were forged in the Civil War. Like every war, it was a brutal thing that made a lot of men dead and a couple of men rich. Or women, in this case. The family matriarch, the Grey Lady. They say she was a spy for the North. Is that true? Grey Lady. She kept records like a spy for show. Which is to say she didn't. One thing's known. She fed the North troop positions that turned the tide of more than one battle. She was compensated quite well for it. The island itself was a gift. She was either a traitor or a spy. That's why the northerners got to calling her Grey Lady. If you ask me, she started a nasty thought and tradition. Success at the cost of innocent blood. Anyone who tries to wrap things in that family gets ostracized or worse. Mm. What happened to your old assistant, Logan? He fired me. Doesn't it usually work the other way? You'd think so. He got fed up with me. Why? He gave me an ultimatum. Write the draft or he'd find someone else to work for. I do not do ultimatums. I do not do ultimatums. Tell Fair me enough. what happened when you met Charlotte. Fair I'll enough. tell you, hon. But you got to remember that you are not like me. Well, what do you mean? I have opened the door to the spirit world. And you have not. And don't you dare do it ever. You hear? Yeah, I can agree to that. I mean it. The dead are just like lost children. If you're out there leaving a trail of breadcrumbs, they will find you. Enough of the PSA. I snuck out there to the ruins on the anniversary of her death. I waited in silence for a long time. Nothing. You didn't say the rhyme? Oh, that. Oh, it's cute, but I wasn't looking for my daddy's brain-dead bloodhound. They come when they come, and in the dead of night, she came. Stood right beside me. Just me and her, eye to eye, for a hot minute. Finally, she reached for my wrist. She pulled me through a fog that became smoke and then fire. She pulled me back to the night she died. Could you see what happened that night? I couldn't see a thing. I, I could only feel the heat. I could feel how sad she was and how angry. I'm sorry, hon. Talking about it don't come easy. What? 
What have you been uh, consuming? I'm just trying to fit the pieces together. What does Charlotte have to do with Jesslyn? All families got one thing in common. Every generation, just like the last. There's some rebels and some oddballs that break the mold. But for the most part, one generation gonna follow into the footsteps of the next. From what I gathered, Jesslyn seems to be cut from the same cloth as Charlotte. You ask me, if someone saw Charlotte as a threat, then Jesslyn's been born behind enemy lines. You said you opened the door to the spirit world. What? What did you mean? You really sure you want to know? Oh, let's see. I'm curious, and no disrespect, but... Last time, I told you how my daddy got me interested in ghosts, but that's only part of the story. When I was young, there was a spot in my room where I could fold back the wallpaper. There was this gorgeous old wood behind it. I mean, to me it was. I'd trace the ripples in the grain with my finger for sometimes hours. Why? I don't know. I, I was a girl, and... It was the only thing I knew about that no one else did. I don't know exactly when it started, but I began to trace a beautiful old willow into the wall over and over again. Strong limbs running up to the sky and the tangled roots grabbing tight at the dirt. I was obsessed. I traced the tree until I knew every detail. I even started to see it after a time. Little indentations in the wood. But one day... The lines felt strained and cold. And I realized it wasn't the wall I was feeling. There was a girl on the other side of the wood. She what? was showing me what to draw. She was trying to tell me something. I should have shut my eyes tight and glued the paper back. But I didn't. And I couldn't. I let her teach me the shape of the tree again and again until one day I saw it in real life. What happened? Not a thing until a strong storm hit a few months later. I don't have to tell you what they found when they pulled what was left of the willow tree from the ground, now do I? That's when I decided I would learn to listen. I knew even then it had come at a cost. I just had no idea how high. Wait, is she saying that... They found a body? The ghost was telling her? Did I misunderstand that? See you later. Y'all be careful now. Y'all be careful now. That's interesting. Is that why she got interested in ghost? Hmm. Mysterious. Oh. Yeah. See you later. Later, hon. Oh, maybe I misunderstood that. The bedroom key is crossed out in the scavenger hunt. Do you know where it is? No. Jessalyn must have found it. But I couldn't tell you where it is. Dang. Do you know anything about Harper? Just what I've heard from Jessalyn. Apparently she handed in her sanity card a while back. Jess said Clara was always worried Harper would return. Why? I think she was scared of her. She told Jess to call the police if she ever saw Harper. I think she was scared of her. She told Jess to call the police if she ever saw Harper. The heck? I'd better get going. Bye. Later. Yeah, I don't know how to deal with this thing. This is confusing. So confusing. No idea. She did mention it the first time. Let's have done something wrong somewhere, which is quite possible. No 
No more paintings to interact with. I think there's like these random events like the rat or the ghost. Yeah, I think you're right. I must be missing something. I'm not like I'm missing. What's that noise? Oh, it's just <laughs> I should have gotten used to that noise by now. But I haven't. I was like, wait, wait, what was that? It's part of the music ambient audio. I should override some saves. Okay. I think I gotta go to bed. Uh, because it's getting late. Just leave it at that. Thank you, Sarah. I appreciate um, you hanging out. Thank you, Suspense, if you're still there. Thank you, anyone that's uh, lurking or watching this in the archives. Uh, thank you again, Sarah, for following. Um, I hope you all have a good day all night. Take care, stay safe, and I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye. See everyone. Peace. No worries, Sarah. Thank you. Thank you for hanging out. You have a good one. Have a good one, everyone.